Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 16 verse 15. Jesus said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, our Lord Jesus entrusted us a mission to proclaim gospel to the whole creation. It is the only mission Jesus entrusted his church. Proclamation of his gospel. Hallelujah. 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 Today we are going to hear about why you stay idle all the day. Now let us stand up and let us praise God for some time. Let us worship our God with the team members together. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory. If the Spirit of the Lord is in my soul, like David the shepherd, I will sing. If the Spirit of the Lord is in my soul, like David the shepherd, I will sing. I will sing, I will sing. Like David the shepherd, I will sing. I will sing, I will sing. Like David the shepherd, I will sing. God be served. What am I to God be served? Angels bow before Him, heaven and earth adore Him. What am I to God be served? What am I to God? What am I to God be served? 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 Let us sing a praise. Let us sing a praise the Lord. Let us sing and praise the Lord. Let us sing and praise the Lord. Let us sing and praise the Lord. Let us clap and praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Praise Jesus. Glory to God. Glory Hallelujah. To God. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Spirit, move upon us. Teach us the Holy Spirit. Guide us the Holy Spirit. Impart your divine light the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the beginning of my priestly life, there was an inner thirst every now and then it was haunting me it is not enough you are doing many many things but it is not enough something else is expected my father from my father so again and again i spend hours and hours in prayer to know what is my call what my heavenly father wants me to do more i was always and again and again i was praying before my god and slowly my heavenly father our living god took me to book of jeremiah chapter 6 verse 9 book of jeremiah chapter 6 verse 9 the lord almighty said to me israel will be stripped clean like a vineyard yes from which every grape has been picked yes so you must rescue everyone you, you must can. rescue everyone you can while there is still time yes yes you have to work hard again and again you have to go you have to search out unto the ends of the earth and you 
प्लीज पिक अप यू प्लीज गैदर आस मच आस यू कैन एंड ब्रिंग दम टू मी वी रीड दिस पोर्शन दिस पासेज फ्रॉम आर एस वी वर्शन दस इज द लॉर्ड ऑफ होस यस सर्च थरली सर्च सर्च थरली सर्च विथ विथ ऑल यूर अटेंशन विथ सर thoroughly you have to go and pick we want to search out all around yes as a wine the remnant of israel yes like a grape gatherer yes pass your hand again and again over its branches yes lord is lord was asking me again and again you go and search for the lost ones gather those who are lost and bring them to me as an offering and i surrendered my life then my lord said to me it is not you but i myself will work through you book of isaiah chapter 56 verse 8 thus says the lord god who gathers the outcasts of israel yes it is the lord himself who gathers the outcasts who gathers the lost ones yes once again let us read i will gather others to them besides those already gathered yes it was the deep desire of my heavenly father he want to gather again and again and he come but he called me to do to take over this desire of my heavenly father and i said yes lord yes lord i am ready i don't know what to do and how to do but i am ready i was doing my priestly ministry in a remote village i didn't have any idea of world evangelization praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah so when i started my ministry when i started to preach word of god to gather the lost souls i i i i, I could experience the pleasure the love of my father in a special in a particular way it is always following me do you want to do you want to experience the love of your father in a tender way do the ministry of the salvation of souls god is asking why you stay idle all the day he is not at all pleased with them who stay all their life idle without doing anything for the salvation of souls our father is not at all pleased with them just definite according to the word of god let us examine the life of our lord jesus himself mark chapter 1 verse 15 there we read like this the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of god has come near repent and believe in the good news hallelujah 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 jesus started his preaching ministry there and all his life until the, uh, the last breath of his life he was immersed in the ministry of his father proclaiming the good news he collected 12 and entrusted the mission to go and preach they went around and they began to preach praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord gospel of st luke chapter 10 verse 1 and 2 after this the lord appointed 70 others and send them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place to every town and place where he himself intended to go yes he said to them the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few yes there was a pain in his heart in the heart of jesus there are not enough laborers harvest is plentiful but 
nobody is there to gather nobody is there to work in the field so he asked pray to the lord to send laborers to the field we have we, we should have a pain in our heart about our our deadly indifference towards the evangelization work we 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 are, we, we are not at all we are not at all used to think or used to go out of our uh, boundary we are confined we are satisfied within with what we have we have to go we have to search out we have to collect all those who lost all, all those who are lost that is the best thing that please our heavenly father when our jesus was going uh, ascending to heaven the last time at the law la- at, at the last time when he was with his disciples he said to them from his heart let us read mark 16 verses 15 and 16 and he said to them go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation the one who believes and is baptized will be saved but the one who does not believe will be condemned my dear sisters and brothers are we doing that it is the only mission our lord jesus and rest of the church every christian is duty bound to proclaim the word of god and every christian is duty bound to do the ministry of work of salvation of souls hallelujah 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 we need to preach to the families we need to preach to the gentiles we need to preach to the children we need to preach to the young adults i invite uh, uh, ainish to share her experience among uh, when uh, she was working with the young adults and children praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah i remember couple of weeks ago a young boy just 17 years old his name is agustin he came to attend the retreat not because of his own will but his parents had forced him to attend that retreat so we observed one thing that while we were preaching the word of god he was not to be found in any of the sessions he was sleeping in his room we did not force anything on him but we kept on praying to the lord jesus to touch his heart and after two days as he came for the adoration before that he was hearing the word of god for one session after that he came for the adoration he was lying down on the floor as if nothing touched him but the power of the almighty came upon him he stood up and with during the adoration itself he took a bible and he said i want to know more about jesus i want to know the word of god and very soon as he heard the word of god he came back to the lord his faith was uplifted and yes. he was empowered he came back and he accepted jesus christ as a savior when we asked him what made you turn away from the lord he said he went to youtube and he watched some documentary about atheism he learned uh, all the theologies of atheism and because of that his heart was taken away from the lord but thankfully because he heard the word of god the word of god pierced his heart that is why in hebrews chapter 4 verses 12 the word of god says that the word of god is living and active why is it that today youngsters are straying away from the word of god not all but few of them why is it that going they are going away from the lord that is because jesus said in mark chapter 12 and verses 24 is this not the reason that you are wrong because you know neither the scriptures nor the power in the word of god therefore it is so essential it is vital to give the word of god to youngsters john chapter 6 and verse 63 says this way it is the spirit that gives life the flesh is useless the words that i speak to you are spirit and life my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus we care so much for our physical body we give a uh, food to our body when our children are hungry 
time to time we keep giving them food because they are hungry exactly like that our children our youngsters they have a soul we must think that maybe 15 years 20 years 21 years 30 years in 30 years how much food has gone into their soul their soul is crying out for the word of god therefore we have to be responsible we have to pray to give this word of god to our children mother mary when she received the word of god from heaven where did she keep it the word of god says in luke chapter 2 and verses 19 luke chapter 2 and verses 51 that mother mary treasured all these words in her heart and she pondered on them the youngsters where should the youngsters keep the word of god should they keep the bible in a rack or in a corner of their room so that their bibles are dusty throughout their life and maybe they pick their bible when they are 50 or 60 years old in their life no my dear friends the word of god says in psalm 119 verses 9 how how can young people keep their ways pure and the answer is given in psalm 119 verses 11 the psalmist says i treasure your word in my heart so that i may not sin against you the word of god does not say that i treasure the world not the world not the sins of the world not the pleasures of the world but I will treasure your word the word of God in my heart so that I may not sin against you my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus when saint ignatius of loyola when uh, he was hit by a cannon ball and he was injured it is the word of god which hit his heart matthew chapter 16 and verses uh, 26 for what will it profit you if you gain the whole world but you lose your soul that made him come back to the lord 360 degree a u turn in his life and that made him a saint saint augustine when he heard these words from bishop ambrose romans chapter 13 and verses 13 that leave the works of the dark and come to the light that is what made him change along with the powerful intercession of his own mother my dear friends in christ jesus today's generation there are so many youngsters waiting to be future saints can we not give the word of god to them should we not be responsible parents to give the word of god to our young children therefore let us take this initiative and encourage our children to listen to the word of god to to uh, attend conventions and retreats and hear the word of god let us pray to the almighty that the word of god may enrich them colossians 3:16 that the word of god may dwell richly in their hearts hallelujah. praise the lord hallelujah 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 see it is the will of our heavenly father each and every christian is duty bound to proclaim to share the word of god the glory the freedom the redemption which we got through the death of our lord jesus christ to everyone to the whole creation now let us pray matthew chapter 18 verse 14 so it is not the will of my father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish let us pray oh lord oh jesus now we accept you as our savior our redeemer empower us to to preach your word empower us to share your redemption hallelujah hallelujah give me your word lord give me your word God bless you the father the son and the holy spirit 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now let us accept Jesus as our Redeemer. When we accept Jesus in our heart as Redeemer, there is the mighty intervention of God. There will be. So as far as possible, as we can, call the name jesus and accept him as uh, as redeemer of our personal life jesus you took away all of our sins and you died on cross for me and by your that i am redeemed i believe that i accept you as my savior hallelujah jesus lamb of god worthy Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. 